Welcome into All Things LA Real Estate. My name is PK Knoll. So the Gondola Project here in Los Angeles has just cleared its first major hurdle as the Metro Board of Directors did an 11-0 vote and they approved the environmental impact report for the project. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Gondola Project is, basically they are building a 40-foot airlift that is gonna fly over the buildings in the city here it looks like a ski lift if you're kind of familiar with that it's going to go from union station it's going to have a stop in chinatown and it's going to finish things off at dodger stadium it has zero emissions capabilities it's going to get you from union station to dodger stadium in seven minutes and they say that it's going to be able to transport five thousand people an hour but not everybody's super happy about the project specifically because of the man who's leading the project good old frank mccourt now if you're not familiar with frank mccourt he was the owner of the dodgers from 2004 to 2012 and people essentially hated him he was very cheap he raised ticket prices every year he raised concession prices every year he raised parking prices every year he even banned international signings by the baseball team does he watch baseball he also allegedly used the dream foundation the dodgers charity to employ some of his friends in high paying jobs and for some personal expenses and when it comes to the business side of things as far as him acquiring the dodgers he bought them for 430 million dollars but he did it all in debt he ended up selling and profiting around a billion dollars when he sold so not a bad business deal on his side the main opposers of the deal is the Stop Gondola Coalition. Basically, they have a ton of issues with this project, not only being safety, the noise of the construction, flying over the city, but essentially the, bet, the budget is expected to be $500 million. And it's still uncertain how much the taxpayer is going to have to contribute to that because Frank McCourt has not provided a financial plan yet. And when you have projects like this, everybody knows that they go over budget and they go over schedule. That can mean street closures and construction in that downtown congested area for years. Um, he's also gonna have to be gifted some public land because he's gonna have to build these towers up that are gonna support the rails. They say that these rides from Union Station to Dodger Stadium could cost $120 a pop. It is 1.7 miles. You could literally walk it and you're gonna pay $120. Now, the backers of the project say it's going to open up traffic big time, especially to Dodger Stadium, but don't get it twisted. They are doing this solely for the 2028 Summer Olympic and to make major profits off of that time. Long way to go as far as the Gondola product goes. They still got to go through the LA City Council and get approval. Caltrans, the Department of Parks and Rec, the Department of Safety and Health, and then it's got to go back to the Metro Board um, to get the construction plans approved. So there's a lot of hurdles still the jump for the gondola project the people are fighting back about it we'll see where this progresses be kind